face lately i've been putting my bangs in hair roller instead of using a headband because i find that helps make my bangs not want to like split i don't know i feel like if you have bangs you understand the struggle of maintaining them i finally am getting them trimmed today they are so grown out so i'm gonna get them trimmed today after work <sighs> i slept in a little bit today i did not mean to I have a pretty early shift today, but that also means that I get to end early, which I like. I would rather have an early shift than a late shift because I feel like if I have an early shift and I get off pretty early, I feel like I still have my day. So I'm going to go to the gym after work and then I will get my bangs trimmed after I go to the gym. I have a pretty easy day today, so... I've been trying some new skincare products lately, so this is the Oat In Silky Toner from Purito. I've only been using this toner for about a month, so I can't give like a great review on it, but so far, so good. But my favorite toner is still the I'm From Rice Toner, which is this one. They kind of look like the same formula, honestly, so maybe that's why I like both of them. But yeah, I find that this toner absorbs super fast into the skin, which I really like. Sorry, I feel like my voice sounds weird. I just woke up. I feel like I've been kind of slacking on my, my filming game lately because I've just been so busy. I think my schedule right now is pretty hectic, but it should mellow out over the next like month or two, so please bear with me. Some of you that have been watching me for years have seen me at my worst, so... I wish I could convey like over the camera how much that means to me <laughs> when some of you tell me that you've been around long enough to have really like gotten to know my dad and see my dad a lot in my videos that warms my heart so much or been around during my bodybuilding days because I used to be like a gym fanatic <laughs> I just really appreciate you if you've been around that long I appreciate you even if you're new but the fact that some of you have just been around for so long and have accepted every version of me it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. This is also something new that I've been trying lately. It's the Purito Wonder Relief Centella Serum. And I do feel like this serum, again, this is a pretty new product I've been trying out. I do feel like this serum has kind of helped my, my redness. I have pretty decent skin. I don't break out too much, but something that does happen is I get pretty red in my cheek area. And I do feel like this serum has calmed it down quite a bit. And then the last new skincare product I've been trying, I got this with the with the toner because it's kind of probably the same line. This is the Oat In Calming Gel Cream from Purito. And I find that this is a really good light daytime moisturizer. It just feels so, so nice. And I don't have super dry skin or super oily skin. I'd say I have dry patches and oily patches. And I find that this doesn't enhance either one. And of course, last but not least, sunscreen which is arguably like the most important part of your skincare routine. My skin's kind of in the recovery process because I just finished my period a few days ago. I always love doing my skincare. Sweet boy.
This is chia seed pudding that I pre-made last night. And I also added some banana nut oats. It's like this instant oat packet. So I added some of that and some banana cream pudding mix and protein powder. If you haven't ever tried adding some type of pudding mix to your oats, to your chia seed pudding, I would highly recommend it. I'm just adding some frozen banana. This is the bag that I bring to work. One of my best friends, Crystal, got this for me for my birthday and I absolutely love it. It's just the perfect size. Sometimes I have to bring like no books and workbooks and stuff. So it fits everything that I need. Make sure I got my water bottle. It's so cute. I love it. It's been so gloomy out lately, especially in the morning. Sometimes in the afternoon it'll get kind of nice, but in the morning it is just pure gray. I'm going into work pretty early. My first client isn't until around 9 a.m., but I really want to get there early because I want to be able to clean the studio, make sure all the members' cards are set up for the day. I also don't want to hit too bad of traffic, and the parking might be really bad too. My commute isn't too bad for the studio. It's like 30 minutes, which is like, it's okay. It's okay, but not too bad. The studio that I had to work at yesterday was like a 45 minute commute. That one was not so fun, especially coming home because I came home around like 2 to 3 p.m. I think it took me over an hour to get home. That was, that was kind of rough. It was a nice, chill, pretty slow day. We had a lot of meetings today, which was not super fun, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. I really hope it's not super crowded. It's like a 50-50 when it's around this time. It's about 1 p.m. right now, so I'm just hoping. I really hope it's not crowded. p.m. so I'm gonna have a little snack these are peanut butter pretzels they're so good they're just little little nuggets with peanut butter in them mm. <laughs> and then I have to clean their litter box I deep clean the litter box mm. then afterwards I think I'm gonna shower I'm not gonna wash my face yet but I feel like I'm just marinating in my own sweat Kyo. 
Kyo! Kyo, stop! Stop! I'm trying to knock down the camera. But yeah, I got my bang trims. They were in desperate need of a trim. And I'm contemplating if I should just like order takeout for dinner. I should probably cook. I just don't feel like cooking. <laughs> Mm. These are so addicting. I always meal prep my breakfast, but maybe I gotta start meal prepping like lunch and dinner or something because lately I've just been eating these. I got this bag less than a week ago and it's already almost done. They're so good. Anya! Anya. Ice cream? Is that why you're here? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> it's almost, what time is it? It's 11.30 at night, been a very long day. I have a final exam tomorrow to finish up my certification. So right now I am working because I got through enough of the certification to clear me to work, but I haven't done my final exam yet. So I'm taking that tomorrow. So I've just been studying and I also had a bunch of coursework that I needed to clean up because I just, I'm tired <laughs> and I really just want to go to bed. I feel like I'm staring at a computer screen for too, too long. Even though I am so, so, so sleepy, I'm going to do my skincare first because I think a very important part of self-love is even though I am tired, I am going to take care of myself. I deserve to go to bed with a nice, clean face. But yeah, I just, I, um... I can sleep in a little bit tomorrow, excited about that. Even if I don't wear makeup, I make sure to double cleanse because it really helps to break down the sunscreen that I put on earlier. I used to not have a skincare routine at all. I was very much like makeup wipe and call it a day. <laughs> Once I start doing skincare, it really helps me feel like I sort of have everything together. <laughs> I feel like even if I have a really, really hard day, if I do my skincare routine, I feel a little bit more complete. Going with my Masha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. This has been my staple cleanser for the past few years. It's probably one of the only skincare products I have that has stayed consistent the whole time. I think I've kind of tried different toners, different essences, different moisturizers, sunscreens, all that stuff. But this cleanser has been my tried and true for quite some time now. I don't really like to recommend skincare products just because I feel like everyone's skin is so different. Even if we're like, oh, like I also have oily skin, I also have dry skin, whatever it is. That still doesn't mean 
that we're gonna use the same skincare products and get the same results, you know? And honestly, 90% of skincare is what you do outside of your skincare routine. Like, are you drinking enough water? Are you sleeping enough? Are you keeping your stress levels low? Or your genetics? So much of it is honestly just genetics. Like, if you have genetically acne-prone skin, or if you don't, that plays such a huge role into it. But yeah, I don't really like recommending skincare products, but I do think this is a really nice cleanser if you're trying to look for a new one that's very gentle, but it still feels like it's really cleaning your skin without feeling like it's stripping your skin, you know? That's one of my least favorite feelings when it comes to cleanser, when it feels like it's just sucked all the moisture out of my skin. This one is really good. Next up, I'm going with toner. This is the Anuo toner. I saw so many people talking about this, so I finally caved and got it a few months ago. I think you get a lot of product, which is really nice. I'm still on the first bottle that I ever got, and I use it every night. I still have have like half of the bottle left so I do like how much product you get from it in terms of the actual toner I think it's fine it definitely got hyped up a little too much in my opinion but you know it's nice it's gentle it's calming you know I don't dislike it will I repurchase it I don't know I think I'd want to try a different toner before deciding that I really like this one right now my two favorite toners I mentioned it this morning but these are my well, I can't really say this is my favorite toner. I just started using this, but this one, I love this toner and I love this brand as well. Which, speaking of, the essence that I use is also from I'm From and it's the Mugwort Essence. This one I feel really helps with like my redness and stuff. And it's just really calming for nighttime. Again, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I have pretty clear skin. I always have had pretty clear skin. I definitely dealt with some texture issues when I was going through puberty and things like that. Something that honestly really helped my skin was just cutting out dairy. I think that was the biggest like improvement I saw in my skin was when I went vegan. I think just cutting out dairy helped my skin a lot and increasing like my water intake. This is the Mixoon Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This one is really nice. This is probably one of my favorite hyaluronic acid serums that I've personally used. It feels so lightweight but very moisturizing. Next one is the Anua Heartleaf 80 Moisture Serum. This one's also really nice. My skincare routine is very extra and no one needs this many skincare products. I, I know that, but I just feel so pampered. I love doing my skincare and I love having like a very extravagant routine, <laughs> a very excessive extra routine. It makes me feel good. I feel like it helps my sleep. All right, and then I'm gonna be using this Curito Serum that I used this morning. This one's also a pretty new purchase, but so far, I really like it. Now I'm gonna add some eye cream. This is from the brand called Dear Claire's. I used to use the Tatcha eye cream, which is also very nice, but it's so expensive. Which, speaking of Tatcha, I will be using their moisturizer <laughs> for the last step. I tried to use a different moisturizer um, because this moisturizer is really expensive. It's this moisturizer. I've been using it for about a year, and it's just, it's really, really expensive for a moisturizer. So I tried to find a new one. Absolutely was not a fan. So I went back to my tried and true, and I will still be on the hunt for a cheaper alternative that makes me feel as luxurious as this moisturizer. Again, you know, I like I like to splurge a little bit when it comes to skincare. Oh, it feels so good. My bangs are gonna look kind of crazy when I take them out of the roller. It's okay. I sleep on my back, and then when I wake up, they just look really perfect because they've kind of just settled down throughout the night. But just don't panic. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> they look a little silly, but it's okay. It will it will settle throughout the night. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you did please give it a like comment subscribe all this stuff really helps me out i really appreciate it and thank you also for your patience with this video i've been pretty busy since i started working recently my schedule is kind of a mess and it's not very consistent right now but hopefully over the next few months it'll start to mellow out and i can plan better but yeah as always thank you for your patience thank you for your support i appreciate you more than words can say 
And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!